Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the System Track here in Dorico 2, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. The System Track is a new user interface tool that makes it easier to add and delete bars and to make a selection of your music across all staves in the system. The System Track will not print out on your scores. It's simply a transitory tool for helping you edit your music. And it's only visible in write mode, though across both page view and galley view. You can choose to show or hide the system track at any time by opening the view menu and checking or unchecking the system track menu item. You can also use the key command Alt T. Now, we've made the system track as discreet as possible, so as not to interfere with your music too much. But at the same time, it's easy to access and comes to the fore when you need it. It appears above the top staff in each system and will move higher automatically in order to stay out of the way of notes and other music items. It doesn't affect the spacing of your music, as indeed it shouldn't. But of course, the flip side of that is that it can sometimes overlap portions of the bottom staff of the system above, where there's more than one system on the page. Clicking in the system track will make a bar selection in the system track itself. Hold shift and click somewhere else in the system track to extend that selection. You can also click and drag to select a region of bars. Selections in the system track are independent to selections in the music though are just as transitory. In other words, as soon as you click away or make a different selection or change layout, then the system track selection is cleared. When you make a selection in the system track, you'll notice that buttons appear at either end of the selected region and also above the system track between the end of the selection and beginning of the next bar. Clicking this button at the right end will select all music items across all staves in the system for the chosen region. This allows you to perform widespread edits to your music, such as transposing an entire passage, or you can use filters to drill down to the specific items you wish to work with. The button at the left of the selection deletes that entire region, removing all music items across the system and the actual time they occupy. This is a very easy way to remove unwanted empty bars. Clicking this button inserts time for all staves in the system, so it's a really easy way to insert bars. The number of bars selected in the system track determines the number of bars that will be added. Holding down Alt displays the rhythmic grid on the system track. Now you can select a more specific region and select, delete or insert that amount of time. This respects the current resolution selected for the rhythmic grid. If there is not enough space on the selected region of the system track to display the delete and select buttons, they will draw above the system track next to the insert time button. However, they still work in just the same way. Finally, if you would prefer the system track not to be shown every time you start a project, then open the preferences dialog by pressing Control, comma, that's Command, comma on Mac, and on the general page, scroll down to the View section and uncheck this option to show system track in new projects. I very much hope you found this video helpful. If you have, just for me, please click the thumbs up button below. That lets me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel right now to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.